Hey everybody, it's Zero Gear Plus, and welcome back for a second demo on how to use PaintTool.SAI. I figured with my videos getting better in recent times, seeing as they now look like this... Whereas they used to look like this... I've been drinking! I've been drinking! I've been drinking! I've been drinking! Drinking alcohol! Yay! Woo! The difference in editing is pretty clear-cut, so what the heck did I do? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how I made the images that I put in said better videos so that I could, you know, have a more professional look and feel to the videos that I make. So I'm going to show you guys this today and how I did it using PaintTool.SAI. Now here we have a picture of everybody's favorite lovable strongman. Over here we have a shot of me, and over here we have a different shot of me. So let me show you the basic of what I generally do here. Now, in most of my old videos, it would look, the, the basically, the photo over video editing would be more akin to looking something, okay, my cursor is waking out, but the photo over video editing would be akin to looking something like this. So, give me a second to, okay, that's transform, okay. I'll have to remember that for later. So, the, the editing would look akin to something like this. It's just that it brings the whole picture in, and I'd edit it. Like, so maybe I'd turn it a little bit or whatever, and it'd look silly and funny and wee, but it didn't look pretty prof it didn't look very professional at all, especially with all the, um, you know, the black space for the rest of the photo. So how do we fix this? Well, I'll show you. Uh, over here, this different shot. Now, if I were to take, say, all of this, for example, and do the exact same thing, cut and bring it back over to the strong bed, and paste. I just don't feel like using my shortcuts. Immediately, we can see how, like, there's no black space. Now, there wasn't even any, now, we can only assume that there was white space before, but, like, how did we, how did we do this? I mean, like, how is this possible? Well, what this file is, is actually a PNG that I made. Um, I didn't even know that this whole website, or this whole software was capable of doing that. Okay, so something just glitched in the matrix, so I'm back. Basically, what I want to do here is, uh, I was talking about, before I got interrupted, uh, any uh, photo editing program and software that has a, well, let's go back, let's click OK before I get ahead of myself and go, why can't I do anything? So basically, any photo editing software with layers or background differences are going to have this innate ability, and, uh, or at least they should. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys is how to do such things. With strong bad, why not? Just because he's simple shape. So what we're going to want to do is, I know he's really grainy, but this is just an example, so bear with me, is I'm going to take strong bad's head and turn it into a PNG format that doesn't have, you know, this white space background that I could put in a video, for example. Now, what I want to do here is I want to grab my trusty select tool. I did not mean to double click. I just want to sim single simple click. And I just want to grab a basic rough outline of the Monsieur Strong Bad right now. I can clean this up a little bit later, but uh, I do want to, you know, if I'm going to clean up at all, I want to have to clean up as little as possible. So this can go over a little bit more, and you can go over a little bit more. Now let's clean this up, just a touch. Not a lot, just enough to, you know make it look pretty. Now, what I do actually want to do is, I'm not going to speed this up this time, is I do, when I do go back over this, is I do want to cut back into the color a little bit, because um, that will reduce, if not completely negate, any chances of me having white on this later. But as long as you keep the color that you take off minimal, uh, it won't look to be that big of a difference in the final product. I'm sure there's a more professional way to... Uh, take off white without actually detracting from the photo itself. Now, I'm personally not worried about it, because I did the same exact thing for the, the other PNGs that I made, but um, I feel the ones I made aren't, you know, too distracting with missing uh, photo content, and also this is the best method I can think of so far so as to avoid white, um, residual white around the photo itself, so... If you guys can think of a better way that doesn't involve using a different uh, photo editing software, let me know, because I'm not about to... Oh, wow, that looks hideous. Because I'm not about to go out and buy, you know, Photoshop for considerable amounts of money 
and, you know, have a, like, near perfect, but then have to relearn how to use the whole system. You know, I'm not going to do that. So here we have exactly what I want. Now let's take this. I just want to look at the outline really quick to see what we do and don't have. Looks like we're staying away from the white, and that's good. Just a little bit of residual, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, cool. Now what I want to do is I want to cut this. And let's zoom out so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, see, this looks like pretty darn near perfect. This is exactly, this is pretty much as good as I wanted. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. Uh, no, don't save that because I don't want to, that to be my new strong bad picture. Uh, close this. These were my former grump shots in case anyone forgot. And what I want to do here is I want to open up a new one. Or not open, I want to make a new one. Uh, this isn't going to be too big, so let's make it a 150 canvas by 150 canvas. Enter. Okay, maybe it's a bit bigger than that. I'm going to, f yeah, change the resolution on the off chance that I'm wrong. 200 looks a little better. Now let's paste this right in here. Oh, wow, I could have gotten away with the 100 if I really wanted to. But, okay, up close and personal, this does look a little, you know, a little touchy. The one side looks really good, but this side is a little leaves a bit to be desired. So um, let's move this to be a little bit more center. All right. Okay. And what we want to do now is I want to change the layer is I want to go over to here and really, well, you know what? That's, uh, that's really it. Cause now that we're on this layer is I want to take this and the bucket tool and just look that, that looks pretty good. Actually, nope. Okay, see, I see some white down here, which is good, because now I can take the eraser tool, go back up to the second layer, and get rid of this. This is basically to spot check my work to make sure there's no residual around the end that I don't want. I usually like to cut, oh, I usually wait for the uh, the cleaning up uh, to go onto this screen, not the previous one, so that it can be a little bit neater, but it usually doesn't change too much. And there's nothing I can do now about all that I've taken off over here, but this looks pretty much okay. I want to go back down to this layer, and I want to click this little box right here to make this a negative background. Go back to the bucket, and it turns to white. There's a negative color here. It's not just negative color being white. It doesn't just default to white. It takes the background away entirely, but this is the space I'm working with, so even though you can't tell, like, watch. Now, see, just because we have that color for a background, I guess that just negates the colorless background. This I am making this a negative background. Don't worry about it. This is exactly what I want. So as long as this is highlighted, this has no background. This is just the shape and space and scope that you're working in. But it didn't affect layer two because obviously on a different layer, the first layer, the first background is everything that was affected, obviously. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go down here and export as a PNG. Uh, save. This is just my grab bag folder where I keep all my stuff. Um, save this as strong bad. Cool guy. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to save it as the 32. And we are done. So let's use this guy in action. Okay, so here we are in Cam 8. And I'm going to pull up something, just something really quick that I can use. Like what, for example? What can I just pull up that's really fast and nice? Uh, let's go to my whatever folder, and let's let's just for an example, let's use uh, the clip I used earlier, my uh, Captain Falcon thing from earlier. So let's just put this up here. Now, if I did this right, and I'm hoping I did, go back to... I forgot to put it in here, so let's go back to my grab bag and scroll down for Strong Bad Cool Guy, wherever he is. Strong Bad Cool Guy. Okay, so if I did this right, and I'd like to think I did, that went, oops, whoa, okay, go back, okay, good. Now, when I, okay, stop that, oh, I get it, it's because it's, that's, it's not there on the timeline yet. Okay. Okay, I did it. I did it. There's no white background, whereas if I used, say, the whole, the strong bed as a whole, or whatever, wherever that is, 
if I use this one subsequently, there's going to be the white space. So this was just an example. Oh my god, it wasn't exactly as well written or as planned out as well as my previous one was, but this is exactly what I did. This is how I've been doing it. So just there you guys go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo, as long-winded and as convoluted as it may have been, and I will see you guys in the next one if I ever do another one ever again. Might as well get used to saying that after every one of these that I do, because I have no intention of making more, but you never know, I might just make another one. So take care, y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next whatever I do.